Hi crafty friends, this is Mary. Today I am working on a card for Craft Roulette's episode uh, 76. Uh, the parameters uh, for this week are uh, create your favorite card and I'm doing a slimline card <clears throat> using uh, vintage colors with a theme of summer sports and a um, option or um, a, the last parameter was using weaving and for weaving I am going to be using um, a stencil by Tim Holtz the Harlequin stencil which I am going to show you how I turn this stencil into an argyle pattern hopefully it will work out I am going to be using a stamp set, um, this stamp set uh, by Storage Units Inc. and more. I got this uh, a couple years ago um, at one of the scrapbook expos when it came into town. Um, it's probably the first time I used it. Um, so I have colored my images over here. I stamped two of the the two little golfers and uh, the golfing cart um, the bag the golf bag a little sprig of grass the golf ball and um, the hole with the flag and the golf ball so I'm going to put those aside right now those are colored and I'm using the colors that I are tan and green so those are going to be the colors that I use on my background um, so I have uh, my front panel I cut with a stitch uh, rectangle slim rectangle and then I used a circle uh, a stitch circle and cut three of them out and um, my card base is just basically uh, four by four by eight Four by eight. Did I cut it on this? I think it's a uh, four by nine right now, but uh, no, it's a regular piece of paper. So yeah. Um. So let's get started. So I am going to. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to start on this background, and let's see how this works out. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to put some, um, I'm going to protect my surface, the other side of the card here. Because I don't want, any of that to uh, of my inking to uh, go past that point there we go so what we're gonna do is... I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to start with green and I'm using Distress Ink and I'm going to use, um, I'm going to start with Lucky Clover and I'm going to, and this is going to be, um, a landscape card, not a uh, portrait. And I'm just going to start inking it. And I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to the edges since that's going to be more visible than the middle since I have that front panel on my card. Keeping 
in mind that I do have those circles, those circle openings. Okay, so that, and then I'm gonna find my uh, continuation and resume my pattern. slide it down and pick up the pattern again this is a very easy pattern to pick up last time. And it being a distressed stencil, there is some distress on it, so don't worry too much. There we go. So that's my first color. So now I'm going to um, clean the stencil out and go for the next color, which is going to be um, tea dye. So let's, um, I'm going to clean my brush. I have a towel over here on the side. And I'm gonna wipe down the stencil. Wipe my counter. My table. Okay. And now let me put these little guys over here on the side. I'm going to bring back the stencil and I'm going to use, position it so it's on top of the green. Here we go. Let's see if I could, yeah, maybe this would be easier to hold it down. My ink pad is almost dry of these colors. I don't use browns very often. So this may be very subtle, but that's okay. That's looking good. So let's do that again. Hold it over that. Ink it up. Okay, so I have 
my pattern there. Let's put this over here for now. Now, let me rinse my grab a piece of towel and see if I can get the ink out of my hands. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll see. Either way, I'm happy with the direction it's going. You see? Like that. And I had planned to color, to ink the top panel beige, but I think with the distressed showing the little bits of white I think I'm gonna leave it white I think it'll be nice okay so now I'm going to grab where's my there it is no the, a white gel pen if I if I do this correctly where's in a ruler and I am going to I think if I do this and do little lines across. Let's see if that works. It could be faint. And it's not, I'm not making them solid, I'm making them kind of in the middle. Like long dashes. Yeah, my pen's not really working that well. I'm one of those people that does. Let's try that again on this one. You don't really even need to use a ruler. Let me hold this up. Can you see the lines? They're visible. Yeah. Just as easy and quicker not to even use the ruler. And then it lets me see when my pen stops working. So, last week I loved the parameters. This week, this whole weaving and sports had me like, hmm, wheel was not kind because, you know, I'm not a sports person. So I had to go digging around to find my sports bin, my bin full of sports stamps and stuff. And uh, I shot a funny uh, video of me looking for uh, my bin, showing you where my bin is, my sports stamp bin. I'll add it to the end of this video. And uh, hopefully you'll find it as funny as I did. But... I gave myself overnight to think about the parameters. 
Initially, I was going to go with a water sport because I have a couple of uh, critters that are sur surfing or, uh, and I thought, oh, you know, those would be cute. But um, when I saw this little, this uh, set with the golfers, it just paired up so well with um, this background that I started thinking about. And it just clinched um, in my mind. So I went with this. Okay, look at that. You see? Now, I can't remember. Do I have to go in the other direction? Probably, right? Yeah, probably. Like this? Can't remember now. I'm just going to leave it like that. I like it like that, and I'm going to leave it like that. Although I'm not sure. Oh, I see, because I went on the... I see what I do. I went on kind of using the beige squares or rectangles as my, uh, I mean, triangles. No, not triangles either. Diamonds. That's what I'm thinking. Diamonds. Oh, basic shapes. Mary, go back to basic shapes. So diamonds. I used the. So now if I go the other way, my leading ones will probably be the, the greens. Follow the greens. So it would be like this, going this way. They're not aligning as perfect as the other way. So basically, just use where you put a line before, stick a line in the middle, and that'll show that'll give it a the shape of a plus sign in some ways, and create your pattern. And don't sweat it; it's faint and subtle. Not a lot of people are going to look at it and study it. It's not going to be graded on. But it gives you options if you don't have an Argyle uh, stencil. There we go, I think that's it. Okay, so that's it. So now I can peel all my uh, protection panels here off. this up. No, I'm just gonna... Do I want to do... Do I want to do a shaker card? Sure, why not? Let's do a shaker card. Hmm. Let's 
get a sheet of acetate. This it measures three and a half. So we'll do it at Let's measure twice before we make a mistake, which we were about to do. Three and a half. So let's cut at three and a quarter. There we go. And um, then we're going to cut it, cut a half of off from the edge corner. Acetate down. Now we can do, we'll get some. That's weird. My big row is getting discolored. Oh well, as long as, it's, as long as it maintains its uh, stickiness. Cutting the tape in half.
Okie dokie. We don't need that, I guess. Okay. You know what? I don't want the inside of my panels to uh, have any ink on them. So let's get my, let's see what kind of uh, goodies we could put on there. Green. Green. Do, 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 do. do we have any cans? Don't need the purple. Purple goes back in there. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Where is my... Where are you? There you are. I'm... Putting some powder on my windows to remove the static. And I'm centering 
my car, my panel. There we go. Looks a little crooked. Oh. Oh. Somebody's about to make an entrance. Let's Okie dokie. Now let's put our little guys on there. Little golfers. I'm going to put this guy down. Moving this guy over here. Golf bag over here. Little cart over here. The flag over here. No? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hi, sweetie. Everybody, I'm going to say hi to Stormy. Hi, Storm. Say hi to all the ladies and guys in this, that are watching. Storm, I'm working over here. But if you do that, I can't... Nobody's going to be able to watch my card making. Okay. I'll just have to swing the camera this way. Sure, take up more room, Stormy. Okay, so I think put the little grass over here. Yeah, I like that, right? Those were all my little characters. Okay, so I'm gonna put adhesive on the bottom of him. Now let's do this guy. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the golf car golf clubs on top of the golf cart. Technically, the um, scale is a little off, but, you know, it is not real. Let's do it all in one, in one go. There we go.
that's it. That's all my uh, little characters on there. Uh, let's see. Sorry, babe. I had to pull out the, the stamps so I could look and see. Should I put a sentiment? No birdie does it better. Perfect. Um, in the rough for you. What the should I do in the inside? I think on the inside I'm going to stamp. Nobody does it better. And I think I'm going to stamp it with I can't even see the scores on this golf cart on this go handicapped and I don't know golf so I wouldn't even know if that's good scores or bad scores so I don't want to use that just in case mm hmm <laughs> I'm just going to do that and yeah. Just put that in the middle like that. Let me get a, a stamp. A stamp. That's it. I think that's my card for today. I may put, let's see what I, I could find on the front to put in the front. No, I like it. I, I like it. That's it. That's my card. I'm really happy with it. I think it came out really cool. Thanks for sticking uh, through the video. It's longer than normal. Um, and uh, until next time, take care. Bye. My bin of sports stamps and stuff. I had to get a step stool and go all the way to that corner over there to my least used stamps and stuff to try to find something to use for this week's parameter. So let's see what happens. Let's look through this bin and see if we can find something suitable for this week's. We have baseball. All right, take it I put gaming in here too. Ooh, golf. I can do golf. That's a summer activity that the man likes. Hmm. Cars. I'm not sure why I put cars in here. Or planes. Or a horse in a weather vane. Hmm. Croquette. That's cute. And mustaches. Why did I put... This must be sports and men. Menly things. Yeah. Menly things. Dirt bike racing, maybe? Hmm. There's another sport. Playing cards. <laughs> oh, he's playing golf. 
Championship. A screw. A stylus? Why would a stylus be in here? Or whatever this is called. Is this called stylus? I think it is. Oh, I'm all right. Oh, Caddyshack. Yeah. Spend you. Golf. Yeah. Snoopy. I tee off in eight minutes. Quick, I need a lesson. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, this are those. This is Christmas. What is Christmas doing in here? Oh my, oh my. What's this? A tall man. Is he juggling? I can't even read that. Sorry, you're... Sorry, you're... Aww. Build up. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Okay. And grilling, which should be in food. Oh, I love that little bird. Okay. I'm going to put all the stuff back in here. And I think I'm going to go, I may go with the golfing theme. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Because if I go with the golfing theme, I could go with like a um, argyle background for my weave. Is that a weave? I'm not sure. But I'm thinking maybe I will interpret it as a weave. <clears throat> Those pesky parameters. Okay, be back later.